Hi, James with the OneHourSmartHome.com and today we're going to teach you how to identify a neutral wire. So the first thing that you want to do is make sure that you've got the power off and then you're just going to take off the uh, cover plate for the light switch. So make sure you've turned the power off at the circuit breaker. Um, if you're not sure which one it is, just turn all of them off. It doesn't hurt anything to turn all of them off. So you just remove these two screws and that will get off your light switch cover plate. So we've got those removed and now we are to the light switch. Now this will work to identify a neutral wire for either these light switches, which are called a Decora style light switch, or the traditional uh, toggle switches or lever switches that uh, most of you are used to. So we're just gonna unscrew this and that okay and let's see is our light switch free yet no it's very close though so we're gonna just uh unscrew it. and you don't have to use a, a drill or a driver you could use just a uh a screwdriver if that's all you got available so you don't have to have a whole bunch of tools for this um and the next thing that you're gonna do is you're just gonna pull the light switch free so now what we can see and you just want to pull it kind of like out of the box as much as you can so you can look back there and i'm going to zoom in here let's see okay and you can see what we have here all right we've got uh right here this bare copper wire that is the ground wire for some of you you're going to have a green wire um, and that would also be the ground wire and if you live in a city that has conduit or a state that uses conduit instead of uh, non-metallic cable or metal back boxes typically you won't see a ground wire in your electrical box because the conduit is a ground itself to the panel so the other thing that we've got here we've got two wires okay so the power going in right here this is the hot wire okay and then the power going out of the light switch up to the light fixture that is what we call the uh, load wire that's what carries the current from the light switch when this is closed up to the light and now what we want to know is do I have a neutral wire in here or how do I identify the neutral wire well if you open up your electrical box and you see a white wire in there like we've got okay see this right here that means that you do have a neutral wire and the question is why would you want to have a neutral wire in your electrical switch box well because what's becoming more popular is smart light switches okay and a lot of those light switches do require a neutral wire in order to operate and the reason is is that the neutral wire allows those smart switches to maintain a little bit of current going through it so that it can connect to your wi-fi network and be controlled remotely now not every light switch requires a neutral wire in fact the majority of light switches especially the old style don't need a neutral wire at all but in newer homes typically i'd say built after like 1985 you are going to find a neutral wire in the switch box because that is typically required per code in older homes you may have it it or you may not have it okay but you don't need a neutral wire for most light switches. You only need a neutral wire if you plan on installing a smart switch, but not all of them require it. I actually have a smart switch here today that does not require a neutral wire. So this is the Lutron Cassetta dimmer switch. This one does not require a neutral wire. I could wire this up without even using this neutral wire in here. So for some of you that are asking this question, how do I identify a neutral wire? You're asking because you want to install a smart switch but you don't necessarily have to have one to install a neutral wire. Now, the other thing is that you could add a neutral wire to your switch box, but it's a lot of work. So that's why if you don't have a neutral wire, I recommend something like this. If you want to have smart lighting, this will allow you to control it from your phone. This will allow you Alexa control. This will allow you Google control, HomeKit control, all of that. Um, but if you have a neutral wire, doesn't matter. You can use pretty much any type of smart light switch out there that you want. So that is not a limitation. When you have a neutral wire, you can use pretty much any smart switch or smart dimmer switch that you want. So that is how you identify a neutral wire. The white wire is a neutral wire. That is the universal color code, um, or at least the United States for a neutral wire is white. So 
black is typically hot and load. Uh, the green or bare copper, that's going to be your ground. Any white wire is your neutral wire. Now, some of you will live in other places where the black wire is a different color, where it might be orange or yellow, and that's fine. They just use those different colors to designate uh, different circuits in different municipalities and different places where you don't use this typical black wire. However, the white wire is always a neutral wire, um, no matter where you are. So that is how you identify a neutral wire. We hope you enjoyed this video. We've got all kinds of other wiring videos you can check out and uh, learn more about smart wiring and smart home light switches. So we hope you enjoyed this video and we will see you next time. Please like, please subscribe. And if you wanna support us, click on any of the links below. Thank you.